Greetings quilters, this is Penny Hallgren from quiltblocklibrary.com with a demonstration of how to sew the cat's paw quilt block together. This is known by very many names, uh, also bear's paw, beggar's block, all kinds of different things. But today we're calling it cat's paw and I've colored it in honor of my little kitty cat, little Siamese cat, who's a lilac point. So it's gray and dark gray. Uh, and I'm going to make something a little bit different in that I'm going to take this center square and I'm going to put a picture of my kitty cat on it. Uh, the cat's name is Mickey or better known as M Mouse uh, for Mickey Mouse. This is a, uh, a seven patch kind of officially because it has six, um, it's got seven little segments across. So I'm going to make a 21 inch block just so that I can get the picture of the kitty cat in so that you can recognize him. So let's get started. My patches are all cut and laid out next to my sewing machine and the first thing I'm going to do is sew all of these half square triangles together. It's pretty easy. I just take them, place them right sides together, line up the corners, and stitch. These little patches are now sewn together and I've laid them out on my flannel table according to the pattern and I always just try to check to be sure that they're still facing the right directions. The next step is to take these two patches and sew them together and then I'll take these two patches and sew them together. So I'm going to end up with those and then that's going to be separate. So again, it's pretty simple. Just fold them down. Make sure that you sew the right, the correct sides together but it's just a straight stitch across. These pairs of patches are all sewn together now and the next thing I'm going to do is check to be sure that they're facing the right way according to my pattern. And then I'm going to attach these two onto the center square. This pair of patches has been attached to the center square and the next thing I need to do is attach this row. But first I'll need to attach these squares onto those two patches. That's done. Now all I need to do is fold this down, line up the seam allowances, and stitch this together, and then I'll have each one of the little corner patches finished. Now the four corners are sewn together, and at this point it's kind of like putting a, an entire quilt together. So I'm going to take this and attach this sashing piece, and then attach the, third, the second block across the top. And then I'm going to uh, sew the center together in a strip like that, attach that, and then the bottom in strips. The sections of the block now are sewn together, so I've got this bottom row, the center row, and the top row. The next thing I need to do is just fold the rows together and sew them. So I'm going to start by folding the top row into the center and then stitching along that seam line. The top two rows are sewn together now. All I need to do is add the bottom row and then we'll be done. So I'm going to fold this up take it to my machine and stitch the bottom. There it is. We've got it all sewn together. Now all I'm going to do is press it and it'll be finished. So I'll be back with it all pressed and looking pretty. Our cat's paw block is all finished. It's 21 inches square and it's got a picture of my little kitty right in the center. That was done using a photo transfer process. If you need information or want a little video demonstration on how to do that, you can visit grasper.com, G-R-A-S-P-R.com, look up the quilting coach, that's me, and there's a short little video that shows you exactly how to transfer your photographs onto a piece of fabric. Thanks again for joining us at the quiltblocklibrary.com for this demonstration showing how to sew a cat's paw block together. Visit us again soon for a demonstration of another block. Peaceful piecing.